Hi everyone, I just want to show uh, something that is popular in LinkedIn right now, which is VV8 has released their own RAG application with a user interface. So this is how it looks. It's called Verba and it's developed by VV8 and it's open source. So today I'll just show you how to install and run Verba. So first thing you need to do is to go to uh, their GitHub. You will just need to do a pip install golden verba. I run pip install golden verba. All right, then once it's installed, you can already do a verba start command. Then it's going to open a, you'll be able to access this uh, Verba locally in your machine, which is really cool. But before you start, you need to configure a few things. So you need to create a .env file, which is the environment file wherein the Verba looks at this and configures itself. So I tried the Olama and the OpenAI configuration. So make sure that your base URL is including the slash v1 because I tried it earlier and it was not working because I missed this slash v1. So the base URL should be slash v1. Then of course your OpenAI API key. So once you got that running, you go to the interface and you can configure your verba. So the first thing you need to do is go to overview. This is where you can see different configurations enabled. For example, Olama model and Olama URL, OpenAI API key, OpenAI base URL, and all these libraries that are enabled. You can also reset the configuration here if you need to. So this is very good if you're experimenting and you're still testing your RAG application. So the next thing you can do is you can add a document. So before you can add a document, there are a few things here in this uh, screen. So you have a configuration, it's a basic reader. Right now, I don't know how to change this, but I think this is good enough for our purpose because we're just going to upload a, a resume file that I did. And we select a chunker. But there's no selection here, so you just use the default one. Then we can choose from an Olama embedder or an Ada embedder. So let's choose the Ada Embedder because I was able to make it work. The chat application uh, answers correctly when, you're, when we're using the Ada Embedder. All right. So after that, we'll upload the document. So I just converted my resume into a text file. This one, the default is 100, but I'll try to use 200. I don't know what this means yet, but uh, maybe it's because it's the chunking for the tokens but i don't know how it is affecting your responses or your context when you chat with the the rag application so let's choose ada for now then let's just import so what this will do it will use the open ai ada embedding model it will call that api and it will do the embeddings i think this is using a in-memory uh, embedding database for now so that's good enough for our demo. Then you can go to our, after you imported the document, you can see the document that is uploaded. So now uh, we can chat with our, with our resume. So let's say, uh, what was Melvin's last job? So it answered correctly. Melvin last job was a lead back-end engineer at Oh My Home in Singapore from January 2000 to April 2024. So, yeah. So, he developed, he championed best practices in software development and developed the APIs for their product Homer GPT. So, what is Homer GPT? So, Homer GPT is an AI chat assistant developed by Melvin for Oh My Home. So it's able to get the answer from the document. So imagine if you have a lot of documents that you query, you have already have a 
nice user interface, a web-based interface to use and you don't really need to go into the command line which you know uh, non-technical people are not very aware of. For this verba, you can just go to this tab and just upload all your documents and just click import and it will already do the embeddings for you. All right. And a nice thing that I saw in Verba is you can customize the interface. You can even change the logo, maybe a logo of your own company. You change the color, which is really not really a uh, very essential, but it's really nice to have, especially if you're creating an application for your organization. So that's it. This is just a first try with Verba and I'll maybe I'll do some blogs or some video demos on other things that we can explore he here in this software. All right, that's all. Thank you. Bye-bye.